Hi there everyone, this is Kelly Gettlefinger with Always Stampin' Videos, stamping for Split Coast Stampers today, and I'm going to show you how to create the Home Sweet Home mini album. This is a mini album that looks like a house. <laughs> I wish I could stand it up so you could see what it looks like, but the camera angle won't let me do that. So it stands up and looks just like a little house. So I'm holding it to the side so you can see it better. The roof comes off, the bow comes untied, and it opens up to your photos. You can add four by six photos to this cute little mini album, uh, trimmed just a little bit to fit into the mats inside the house. So let me show you um, how to create this super cute little house. The tools you're gonna need today are a hole punch and eyelet setter, 12 by 12 paper trimmer. You're going to need some kind of an eyelet punch, some paper snips or scissors, adhesive of your choice. You'll need some scotch tape or any kind of magic tape. I'm using some dies with the big shot. So I'm using oval dies with the big shot. You can use some punches if you'd rather have um, shapes made with punches and you'll need a pencil. Okay, so here are the other supplies that you'll need. You will need some ink. I'm using two colors today, a green and um, a purpley plum color, Rich Razzleberry and Pear Pizzazz. You'll need some stamps. I'm using the Butterfly Gala stamp set and it coordinates with a punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that punch today. You'll also need some brads and some ribbon. You'll need two pieces cut 12 by 12. 12 by 12. 12 inches of ribbon. All right, let's um, talk about the smaller pieces of cardstock and decorative paper. You're going to need two pieces of decorative paper that measure three quarters inch by five inches, and two pieces of cardstock that measure one inch by five inches. You'll need four pieces of decorative paper that measure half an inch by four inches and four pieces of cardstock that measure three quarters inch by four inches. You'll need two pieces of decorative paper that measure four inches by six inches. two pieces of one color cardstock and two pieces of another color cardstock that all measure three and three quarters by five and three quarters. You'll need some uh, neutral color cardstock, uh, white or cream color, and you'll also need some coordinating colors um, to use for your ovals or circles. And then you'll need one piece for the roof that measures five inches by eight inches. All right, let's get started. You're gonna start with the two pieces of 12 by 12 decorative paper. Now for this video, I'm going to use cardstock so that I think the pattern will be easier for you to see and understand if I use just plain cardstock. But this would be um, the decorative paper if I were actually making the little house. So bring in your paper trimmer. and trim both pieces at eight inches. Now I could just trim this at four inches because it is 12 by 12, but I think it makes a more memorable impact if I show you the eight inches. You're gonna trim the four inches away and just set those aside. Take one of the two pieces and trim it at eight inches again. So you'll have a piece that measures eight by eight. 
and this piece you're going to score it at four inches and set that aside bring in the eight inches i'm sorry yes eight inches by 12 inches and score it every four inches just one way with the 12 inch side to the top of the cutter all right and now what you're going to do is quarter turn this piece so that the eight inch side is to the top of the trimmer and you're going to bring it in to two inches now at two inches you're going to trim just to the center scored line and you'll do that on both outside panels then you're going to quarter turn the cardstock and trim away both of those smaller scored pieces so it looks like that and then you'll do the other side as well so it looks like that and just discard those two scrap pieces set that larger piece aside for just a second and bring back the eight by eight piece quarter turn that so that you're at two inches again and just do one panel like we just did so trim away that one panel at two inches like that all right and now you're going to bring in your pencil and you're going to pencil mark the longest panel here at two inches and you're quarter turning it and gonna pencil mark again at two inches all right so i have a pencil mark here at the top and here at the side set that aside bring back the larger piece and you're gonna pencil mark on the larger panel at two inches just at the top there's no need to do the sides because we already have those trimmed away all right now with this larger piece you're going to turn it sort of at an angle and put the pencil mark and this corner here where now your scored line eat, meets and you're going to trim away that corner we're making the peak of our roof right now so there's that piece discard the little triangle turn it in the opposite direction at an angle put the pencil mark and that little corner in the track of the trimmer and trim that away sometimes my trimmer gets a little fussy when i'm doing corners all right set that larger piece aside bring back the smaller piece we are almost done creating our house the pencil mark and the corner will go in the track of the trimmer. Trim that corner away. Turn it just a little bit and trim away from pencil mark to pencil mark. And there you have it. This is the base of your little house. All right. You can put away your trimmer now. And we're going to glue these two panels together, the two smaller panels um on, one on top of the other so i'm just going to add adhesive to one panel and just overlap that panel with the other one and once i have those together i'm going to fold it in half and i will bring in my hole punch and I'm gonna punch a hole for my eyelets through both pieces. So I'm just gonna punch through both pieces. That way I know they're even, about a quarter inch in. Then I'll add my brads, I'm sorry, <laughs> eyelets, <laughs> and um, set those and add my ribbon through those eyelets. So now I'm gonna bring in my decorative paper piece. Um, and you can see that I already have my eyelets set. I already have my ribbon pulled through. And once my ribbon is pulled through, I'm gonna add just a little bit of adhesive behind the ribbon on each side. That will hold my ribbon down. And then I'm gonna bring in my magic tape and really secure that ribbon by putting a piece of the magic tape over it. All 
over both pieces. All right, now you're ready to put in your photo panels. So we're gonna bring in the four pieces for our photo panels and just add those to it. There's so much you could do with this cute little mini album. If you wanted to, you could put pockets in here, turn it into a birthday card, and you could add some money to one of the little pockets. You could turn it into a um, more accordion album and have one of the panels continue to fold out. Tie it up with a ribbon so that when you close your little house, it doesn't um, <laughs> go all wonky. All right, and then once you have your panels in, you can start working on your roof. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'll bring in the brown piece of cardstock that's gonna be my roof. I'm gonna fold it in half. And then I'll punch each, each edge with my scallop punch. I could do both pieces at one time, but I find that that's not healthy for my punches, punching two pieces of cardstock at one time. I can get away with the decorative paper, but not, not the um, cardstock. Oh my goodness, I keep missing that one little piece. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then you're gonna bring in the two pieces of decorative paper. Oh, for goodness sakes, I did it again. <laughs> now you'll bring in the two pieces of decorative paper that measure four inches by six inches and decide which one you want on the outside part of your roof and which one you want on the inside part of your roof. So I'm gonna pick these lines for the outside of my roof because they look like sticks. And then I'm gonna pick the flowers for the inside of my roof. So I'm folding that in. Now, you want to add adhesive to your roof um, and you want to put it, put the decorative piece on your cardstock while they're both folded. You don't want this to be able to open again. So you wanna keep it folded and this pattern works great if you're planning to mail it. So we want to keep this at a tight, so see now it's it's a little hard to open it up. I don't want it to open up. I want it to stay folded. So if I'm gonna mail this, I would just leave my house flat and I would leave my roof flat and I would just mail it like that. All right, now the inside of my roof, the adhesive's gonna go on the wrong side, so the side that I don't want to see. And I'm gonna fold it and stick it into the roof this way. So I don't wanna open it up. And that helps it to keep that tension that keeps it at, a, at an angle. All right, so now we're gonna bring in all our little pieces and just layer those up. Uh-oh, I'm missing a little layer. There it is, sneaky little things. And I'm gonna put all my layers together now, for time's sake, to, sh to save some time for the video, I'm actually only gonna put one piece of each of these together. And you'll, you'll, you'll see, you'll understand in just a minute why. Just to save some time. All right, so you're gonna layer both the two larger pieces and all four of the smaller pieces. So it looks like that. We'll do that all, all of those together. And then the smaller pieces are going to go along the bottom of my house. So I'll just line those up, each one, like this. So once I have those all together, I would line those up just like that. And then the larger strip is going to go on my roof 
here. So it makes, makes a nice little trim for my roof. All right. And then I'm going to stamp, after I run my neutral cardstock through the um, Big Shot with my dies, my oval dies, I'm going to stamp those with some really cute words and take my colored cardstock. So what I did was, um, because these, um, they are layered, the, the set of oval um, dies are layered, but I decided that I didn't want another oval die to um, that's stitched to frame it. I just wanted a little touch of cardstock. So I just fussy cutted, is that a word? <laughs> fussy cut around some uh, coordinating cardstock and just haphazardly twisted and turned my, um, can you see that in the camera? So I just twisted and turned my scissors so that it's um, just a little decorative um, but I don't have to use decorative scissors that way. I can just use my regular scissors. So you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, can you see that? All right, so the larger piece is gonna go in, inside the house, and the smaller piece will go on the roof. And then I've stamped and punched some super cute butterflies from that Butterfly Gala. And I will use some mini glue dots to add my butterflies to the inside of my house and my roof so that it looks like this. And my roof looks like this. And then once it's all folded up, I can put my roof on and add my pictures. So there you have it, the Home Sweet Home mini album. I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for visiting Split Coast Stampers.